and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a composite page here and I'm going to put this into single engine operation, okay? And we have an OEI training switch here. So what it's going to do is actually going to show a simulation of what it's would it actually look like if you had an engine failure. But over on my side is really what's happening with the uh, the aircraft. So I have the autopilot engaged, okay? I'm hands off. Watch how as simple as this. So I fail an engine. You hear it change a little bit, right? Yeah, sure, yeah. So you look over here, one engine has dropped off on the simulation. So also the autopilot system, the transmission. I'm still managing, sitting here at 900 feet. I'm still in the green on my power setting. It went into the yellow, but it came right back down into the green. RPM dropped by 1%, but it came right back up. I have not put my hands or feet on the controls, and we're, we're basically single engine operation right now. I can sit here for two and a half minutes if I need to climb out or do something different. If I go into the higher range, and I'm gonna decouple here. If I go into the higher range, the 30 second range, again, it tells me, okay, you're in the 30 second range, Here's how long you can be there. Mm -hmm. And then the blue lollipop is where it will not let you over temp or over torque the engine, okay? So if I pull a little bit more power because I say, hey, I want to go more, what it's going to do is actually drop the rotor RPM a little bit, but it's not going to let me over torque or over temp the engine. Again, we're still in single engine operation. I'm still have a minute and 48 seconds. Two and a half minutes single engine operation for the most part is a long time. Now, if I had to pull into this blue, say for instance I have a, a man on a hoist and I've lost an engine, and I really don't care if I burn up an engine because I want to save his life, I can override that. I can even override it to say, you know what, I only want to go to the two minute range. So you see where the lollipop changed from 30 seconds to two minutes? Mm -hmm. So now it won't let me go past the two minute range. But if I have to, I can flip this up, push it up, and then I can pull every bit of power that I need to. Now I might, I might burn up an engine, mm -hmm. I might over torque the helicopter, but, uh, but most likely, not a problem. One, three, four, okay. well, I'm one, still three, in the five, green, one, eight, two, five, no problem. Feet, radar control, bye -bye. Okay, copy the traffic and... Look uh, at that, I'm in an out of ground four, effect cover two, with five, uh, one, two, three, three four, five people on board, a lot of so fuel on board, and I'm only pulling into the one and a half or two minute range. I'm sitting here single engine, no problems. So right now, I know that if I had a guy on the hoist doing a hoist operation, that if this engine quit, I could sit here and hold this hover single engine until I got him and the patient inside the aircraft and then what I would do is lower the collective, push the nose over a little bit and then we would fly out and everybody goes home safe. That's what's impressive about this aircraft. Altitude. How many times does a, uh, a rescue pilot or any pilot go out and actually simulate the worst case situation? They don't because, why? They're afraid they're really going to burn up an engine trying to trying to train for that mission. We just did exactly what we needed to do to train for the mission, worst case scenario. So I could take out my crew and say, okay, what we're going to simulate is I'm going to put you on a hoist and I'm going to fail an engine, worst case scenario. What do we need to do? Well, right now I know I can hold it. The guy on the hoist knows that I can hold it or the VIPs in the back know that, well, if I do lose an engine, it's not going to be screaming to the ground and we're not going to uh, die in a blaze of glory. We're going to be able to get back to the airport or land at a nearby airport. And as a pilot, I mean, that's, that's the capabilities that, that I'm always going to check.